I, th- I think really have as much energy and go to as many things as you can. Um, sort of try and go to all the plenaries because the great thing about the plenaries is there's nothing else on when they're on. So you have no excuse. <laughs> For myself, I consider it very important to take your time and go through the program in detail and then try to customize it to, to your own preference. Try and make an itinerary, but really don't fret if you um, miss out some of the sessions you wanted to attend. Be also ready on the spot to discover new ideas, new paths of research that you could not have possibly thought of before. It's really important to find out what's going on in other disciplines outside of your own immediate area of interest. If you go there for the first time, I think it's best also to prepare a poster for your research, because that, that's also an important opportunity to share your research, your experiments, your questions, your techniques, and what you find and how that is important for the, for the scientific development. If one wants to meet with people, which I think it's saying what we should do when we go there, it's very good to uh, make appointments in advance. That's at least uh, what works uh, for me. Look into who is going to be there. Look into the sessions, the speakers, the poster presenters, and get in touch beforehand. People are always willing to see you. So if there's somebody that you would really like to have a cup of coffee with or chat, it doesn't matter how senior they are in the sort of, um, you know, aged sense or, or title sense of professors. Honestly, um, just get in touch, drop them an email and set up a meeting. Go with uh, just a lot of curiosity and uh, start interacting. Don't get overwhelmed. Just try to navigate, look for what you want and enjoy the meeting.